Oftentimes, our experiences with the cultures of the global church are limited at best. Our main interaction is with the culture through ethnic food we enjoy. However, next July, Karen Weiss will be learning a lot more as she leads a mission trip to Thailand to meet with seven United Methodist churches and their pastors. Thank you for coming, Karen. Thank you for having me. What made you want to fit mission work into your busy schedule with your jobs and part-time as a student for seminary? I've always loved mission, and when I was at General Conference this spring, I was able to meet Patrick Friday, who is the In Mission Together coordinator. And through talking with him, um, we just developed a fast bond and the same ideals and goals And so through working with the In Mission Together program, I was able to meet the missionary to Thailand and start the process of of working with the volunteers in in mission um, to go over to Thailand. Have you had a past mission experience that really impacted you? Um, I was really involved with mission in high school. And the one project that we did uh, was Appalachian Service Project. Mm And my group got to clear a mountainside. So we had bragging rights. And I'll never forget that because other people were doing roofing or, you know, fixing bathrooms. And we were clearing a mountainside. And so the the interaction that we had with the family was wonderful. And they were so helpful um, in all that they did and so appreciative. And so that has really stuck with me. How do you expect that this mission trip to Thailand will be a bit different than others that you've been on? Well, it's both a vision and a work trip. So we're going to be helping the Bangkok UMC with remodeling their structure. Uh, we're going to be you know, building benches and moving their sanctuary from one level to another and uh, building a kitchen and doing some other things like that. But it's really also going to focus on meeting the church in Thailand. Um, they are from what the missionaries tell me, an amazing group of people, and they feel somewhat isolated. And so we want to make sure that they get to meet and to build a relationship with those who are around the world. They might feel isolated because as I researched for this interview, I saw that there's only actually 1% of the country that Mm -hmm. is Christian. Um, How do you think that they bring in their culture to the way that they act out their Christian faith? It's very interesting because they're very laid back as a culture. Um, You know, there's not a lot that makes them feel like they have to rush. Mm. And so with Christianity, it's the same thing. Um, They're all very busy during the week, but when they get to Sundays, they take their time in worshiping and praising God. And so a lot of times the, the worship services can be, you know, two, three, four hours long wow. and so they just they take the time that they don't have potentially during the week and so that's a big difference mm-hmm. what do you think um, is a way that you will keep that relationship going with the people in Thailand after you come back to the states well we're hoping that through the computer ministry we're able to bring laptops to the pastors so that we can communicate via email and Skype and those kind of things. Uh, But also, In Mission Together is really about creating partnerships. And so we're hoping that people in the United States catch the vision of partnering with a Thai church Mm -hmm. and so that that bond can be strengthened through, you know, whether it's Skype worship services or Bible study, prayer, um, extra trips throughout the year, those kind of things. That's really what we're looking to foster. Great. If you would like to learn more about maybe how your church can be linked up with the Thai church um, and more about her mission organization, you can check out my Facebook page or my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com.